let's talk about the heart specifically let's talk about the coronary arteries and where they run the coronary arteries are epicardial arteries in other words they run along the surface of the heart so it makes sense to understand where the coronary arteries run to understand something about the anatomy of the heart now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an analogy between the heart and a football and this is our going to be our uh, little football right here let's go back to our heart model right here and look at the components of the heart and we're going to just stay very very uh, general this right here this is the right ventricle we know it's the right ventricle because it's giving off this vessel right here this is the pulmonary artery right here this right here is the left ventricle. It's hard to see, but the left ventricle is going to give rise to the aorta, which is this guy right here. Then we have two atria. This atrium over here, this is the right atrium because it's on the right. It's right next to the right ventricle. And this right here is the left atrium right here because it's on the left, right next to the left ventricle. If we go around to the back, we can confirm that those are, in fact, the right and the left atrium. This is the left atrium because it's got four pulmonary veins dumping into it. And this is the right atrium because it receives contributions from the IVC inferiorly and from the superior vena cava superiorly. So those are, are our cardiac chambers. Now let's go back to our football. In that case, this is going to be the left ventricle. This is going to be the right ventricle right here. There's this groove right here between the left ventricle and the left atrium. The same groove separates the right ventricle from the right atrium. And this is where the coronary arteries run in these grooves. So there's another groove here down the front of the football that separates the right ventricle from the left ventricle. There's a groove on the back that separates the ventricles also. And these grooves, the names of these grooves, really makes a lot of sense. So this groove here that separates the left atrium from the left ventricle, that's the left AV groove. The groove that separates the right atrium from the right ventricle, that's the right AV groove. This groove right here is the, uh, that goes down the front of the football along these seams. This is the anterior interventricular groove. And the groove on the back of the football that separates the right atrium, I'm sorry, the right uh, ventricle from the left ventricle. That's the posterior interventricular groove. So back to our model. This is the anterior interventricular groove. That is where the LAD, the left anterior descending coronary artery, runs. So the LAD runs down the big groove down the front of the football, the anterior interventricular groove. You can't see the left main coronary artery because it's obscured by the left atrial appendage. But as we come around the back, there's this vessel here that runs between the left atrium and the left ventricle. So this is going to be the left AV groove, and that's where the circumflex coronary artery runs. The right coronary artery runs between the right ventricle and the right atrium in the right AV groove or right atrioventricular groove. And as you can see, the right coronary artery in most people comes all the way around the back and runs down and its distal branch runs in the posterior interventricular groove. So you have an anterior interventricular groove where the LAD runs. And you have a posterior interventricular groove where the PDA runs. And usually the PDA is a branch of the right coronary artery. Then you have a left AV groove, that's where the circ runs, and then you have a right AV groove where the right coronary artery runs. One more thing in terms of the uh, anatomy on this model, the apex of the heart is this pointy part right here where the ventricles come to a point, and the base is back here where the atria live. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to draw a very crude picture. which I hope you will draw also, which will make this anatomy a little bit more uh, memorable. There's another picture that I have on my website that's a little more elaborate, but this is a very simple picture that might help you remember this material a little bit better. First, we're gonna draw the left ventricle. 
I'm not drawing it very well here because I'm having to work around my $20 tripod. So that's the left ventricle right there, and it's relatively thick walled. Now we're going to draw the right ventricle, and it's relatively thin walled. They share a septum. You can see that the septum is more like the left uh, ventricle, it's kind of thick walled. And then we're going to draw those coronary arteries. This right here is anterior, again, having to draw around my, uh, uh, around my tripod makes it a little bit difficult. That's anterior. This is posterior right here. So remember, there was an anterior interventricular groove. That's where the LAD runs. So there's the LAD right there. There's a circ. The circ supplies the lateral wall of the left ventricle, so we're going to put it right there. And then we have the PDA, which is a branch, usually, of the right coronary artery right here in the posterior interventricular groove. So if you can do that, you can figure out which parts of the heart are supplied by which coronary artery. So the LAD running in the anterior interventricular groove is going to supply the anterior third or so, two-thirds rather, of the septum and part of the anterior wall of the left ventricle. The circ is going to supply this lateral wall of the left ventricle with vessels called obtuse marginal branches. And the PDA, the branch of the right coronary artery, usually the right coronary artery, is going to supply the inferior third or so of the septum and part of the posterior wall of the left ventricle. Technically, it's actually something called the posterior left ventricular branch of the uh, right coronary artery that supplies this part of the left ventricle, but we're not going to quibble with that right now. The branches of the LAD that you need to know are the septal branches, which not surprisingly supply the septum, and the diagonal branches, which are going to supply the left ventricle, the anterior aspect of the left ventricle. Thank you.